To start drawing our rabbit, we are going to first find the center of our paper and then go down just a little bit below the center and draw a circle. You can use a pencil to do this, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it with a marker. Now this is our rabbit's nose and mouth area. So now off of the bottom of this, I'm going to draw some chubby cheeks for my rabbit. So it's just a curved line that comes up and stops just a little bit higher than the top of my circle. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Trying to make it symmetrical, the same on both sides, but if it's not exactly perfect, that's of course okay. Now, I'm going to draw another curved line for the top of my bunny's head. Now, don't draw it too tall because you know that you need room for your tall ears on top of your rabbit's head. There, kind of like that. Now, the next step is we're going to add the ears and the body. So, I'm going to have one rabbit ear coming off nice and tall right up there. another one right over here. They don't have to be perfectly symmetrical if you don't want them to. It could be kind of fun to have them be different. And then for the body, I'm just going to kind of go sort of to the middle of my cheek area and draw a line that comes down. So we can't see the whole rabbit body, just sort of the top part of him. Now for the fun part, we're going to draw some eyes, nose, and mouth. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw a little forehead section for our rabbit. So start at the ear and then come down to the nose. Start at the ear and then come down to the nose. And then the eyes are going to go right in these two areas here. So I'm just going to do a nice big oval. And then I'm going to draw a little circle in the center. That way, whenever I shade this in, I can leave the circle white and it will look like he's got a little shine, shiny highlight on his eye. That'll make him look kind of more realistic. Now, if any time I'm going too fast during this video, of course, you can just pause it and catch up with me. All right, let's see if I can do about the same thing on the other side. Looks okay. Little circle. Actually, I think I'm going to put the circle on this side. I'm going to have a, both of my shiny parts on the right-hand side of my eyeball. There we go. Okay, now for the nose, all I have to do is draw a little curved line in the center of my circle. And then I'm going to give him a cute little animal mouth that starts in the middle of the nose, goes down and curves out, and then does the exact same thing on the other side. Goes down and curves out. Oh, he already looks so cute. Now this is the fun part where our rabbit's going to get a little bit funky. I'm going to use my marker to divide my rabbit into some sections. So I'm just doing kind of like stripes, I guess, on my rabbit. Now in each of these stripes, I can do a different pattern or texture. Some people like to give their rabbit sort of a hairy texture if they want it to be more realistic. Or some people like to be even a little bit more creative. guys can just draw right along with me, dividing him into some different sections. There we go. And don't forget his body. All right. Now, I can start off by just kind of choosing some different patterns with different lines and shapes. Some people like to do simple lines like this. That kind of looks like well, maybe a different hairy type of fuzzy pattern. But some people like to get a little funkier. Maybe in this next one I'm going to do some 
and zigzag lines. Because I want my rabbit to be a little bit funky. And as I'm going, I'm trying to make my patterns interesting. I'm using some thick lines and some thin lines. You can use different shapes. You can decorate your rabbit however you want. After you've completed all of your designs in black and white on your rabbit, we're going to use some bright colors to completely fill in the background. I'm going to use crayons, but you could use paint, you could use markers, you could use whatever you have at home. And I think that I'm going to go for sort of like a rainbow tie-dye effect. But the way you decide to decorate your picture is completely up to you. All right, now our funky rabbits are complete. The colorful background really makes the black and white rabbit stand out because of the contrast between the colors and the black and white. So it's a really cool choice if you decide to color all of your background space. I can't wait to see what you guys post.